Hello po, magandang hapon sa inyong lahat. Ito po ang The Stock Market Today at ngayon po ay January 30, 2023. Lunes na naman at halos katapusan na po ng buwan. Ito po si Benji Chidoro, isang retired bank officer na nag-start mag-invest sa Philippine Stock Market noong 2007. Araw-araw ko pong binabalita ang pinaka-latest news tungkol sa inyong paborito at pinaka-aktibong stock sa Philippine market. Kung gusto niyo po ng content, niimpitahan ko po kami mag-subscribe. Meron po kayong stocks na gusto niyo pa-review. O may mga tanong tungkol sa Philippine stock market o tungkol sa wealth management, i-comment nyo lang po sa comment box at aking pa-prioritize. Hindi po ako financial advisor. Mga sinasabi ko po dito, hindi po financial advice. Ang ating balita ay tungkol po sa San Miguel at ang power supply agreement niya with Meralco. Huwag kayong alis dahil mabahagi ko sa inyo ang ating financial headlines at ang resulta ng trading sa ating PSE ngayong araw, January 30, 2023, dito lamang sa the stock market today. Okay, so tignan po natin ang ating financial headlines at ito po ay galing ng BDO Securities. Fitch sees Philippine economic growth slowing down in 2023. Fitch expects better profits for Philippine banks this year. VAT refund program expected to boost tourist spending. San Miguel set to bug the $27 billion Cavite Batangas Expressway. The Court of Appeals denies the San Miguel Unit's TRO plea on the power supply agreement with MER. Ito po ang ating main news. Ito po galing ng Manila Bulletin at Philippine Daily Inquirer. The CA has denied the petition of SMC Unit San Miguel Energy Corporation for a temporary restraining order on Suwal's 330 megawatt supply agreement with MER. Energy Regulatory Commission Chairperson Mona Lisa C. Dimalanta opined with the CA ruling SMEC shall continue with the implementation of its power supply agreement with MER based on their fixed price of 4.6314 per kilowatt hour. Uh, kawawa si San Miguel dito at uh, makikinabang dito si MER at mga Meralco customers, which was signed in 2019. In a separate statement, SMC Global Power said, We will continue to pursue available legal remedies in line with our fiduciary duties to our stakeholders. We remain confident that our government through the judiciary is one with us in promoting an environment where both Consumers and industries collaborate in delivering on our country's energy goals and providing viable and shared solutions to address the ongoing power crisis. Meanwhile, Mer welcomed the decision, saying it would benefit customers as it ensures supply continuity and protects them from further exposure to potentially higher electricity rates. So, SMEC's 330-megawatt PSA with MER accounts for about 6% of SMC Global Power's total capacity. This would continue to weigh on SMC earnings amid still elevated coal prices. So, ang mag -dis magiging disadvantage dito si SMC dahil prices had moved up already at Ang makikinabang po dito ay ang mga customers po ni Meralco. So let's take a look at your comments and I saw some here. Cyborg, God bless. Salamat sa updates. And then si Marlon Dulay. Kapag po sinabi na overbought or oversold, ano po ang effect sa stock? Thank you. Okay, Marlon, I have explained this a couple of times already. I think not only a couple, but several times already. Pakasinabi pong overbought at uh, ang ginagamit yung indicator are, are, is RSI. Ang ibig sabihin po ng overbought, the stock is technically overvalued 
at pagka sinabing oversold that the stock is technically undervalued. So, RSI po or Relative Strength Index is an indicator between 1 to 100. Kung ang RSI is 30 or below, it's said to be oversold. Kung 70 and above, it's said to be overbought. Kung 30 and below, technically it is oversold and therefore technically undervalued, you may expect the stock to move up in the coming days. If it is technically overbought or 70 or above sa RSI, it is technically overvalued and you should expect the stock to the prices to move down in the coming days. Pero hindi po totoo all of the time. Ha? You will have to take a look at the nature of the stock. So, ang suggestion ko is to take a look at a video that I have made in sa description below. Yung number 13 po, Relative Strength Index. Tignan nyo po yun. At uh, meron po kong mga examples doon of oversold and oversold stocks. Okay, Marlon? Okay, so let's now take a look at the index. Down po, 81.19 points or 1.15%. So for the first time in so many days, I nagbilos sa 7,000 level. Pero, based on the short-term indicator, I trending upwards pa rin po. But there is a red engulfing candlestick today. Ngayon po, yung market activity, 147 ang umatras, 57 ang umabante, at 38 ang hindi nagbago. Ang All Share Index ay bumaba din ng 1.02%. Lahat ng ating sectoral indices ay bumaba liban lamang sa financials na umakyat ng 0.51%. Ang pagbaba ay pinungunahan ng mining at 3.25% down. Yung ating most active stocks, tignan po natin, meron po tayong balita dito that the composition of the PSE Index uh, will change come February 6. Ano? Papasok po sa index si DMC and Union Bank while Mega World and Robinsons will be eased out. So, ganun po mangyayari sa index. Uh, yan po yung changes sa composition ng kumpanya sa 30 company index. So, tingnan po natin ang um, effect nito but i'm sure the the market has already priced it in ano DMC and UPB tingnan po natin si Meg at si RLC at yung nagfigure sa news kanina si Meralco and San Miguel DMC tingin ko bomb oy red engulfing si DMC bakit kaya may news kaya dito tingnan natin is it market sentiment? I really don't know. Pero papasok siya sa index. But the market might have already priced this in. Ano? Nag-disposure. 200,000 shares. Pero dito lang yan. nag si Cesar Benaventura. DMC. Okay. So, may red and golfing candlestick. Mukhang may breakdown si DMC. Yan yeah, no? Kasi it has been moving up since December. Ito may inkling na po dito na mapapasama po siya sa index. And here, January 19, overbought na po siya. And right now, meron po siyang breakdown with volume. Kaya po, na-break na po yung short term natin. And it's still bullish on the medium and long term, ano? So, nag-reach na po siya ng kanyang support level. Tingnan natin yung one week kung makukuha po natin. Okay, support is still here. Nandito po po siya. Nasa 1075 po ang pinaka-support to DMC. Yan po, dito po sa bandang ganito. Yan. Instead of a horizontal, gumawa po tayo ng parallel channel instead. Para makita natin yung break doon sa 
Ayan siya. Na-break po yung parallel channel. Hindi na po siya within the channel. Bumaba na po siya. So, nagkaroon po ng break na previous resistance na sa 1266. Ngayon po, yan po ang pinaka... Ah, previous support rather. Ngayon po, yan po yung pinaka resistance po natin. Ang next resistance ay nandito po sa level na ito. Nasa 10, 10, 55 to 10, 60 po ang next resistance level yun. So, yan po ang DMC. Si UPB naman, UBP, brother. Si UBP, paakyat si UP, UBP. So, ito, it's riding on the momentum of uh, being included in the index. So, ito po. Yan. Uh, last Friday, ito. Ito ngayon. Kasi ngayon ang official announcement. Although, the market may have priced it in already. Na price in na yan. So, here, ang ganyan po ang parallel channel niya. Starting December, end of December up to January 31st. Paakyat po yung Union Bank, ano? And, uh, support follows the 20-day EMA nasa 89.66 or 89.50 to 89.70 ang pinaka-support po niya. While the resistance is at 99.03 overbought si Union Bank. Mega, tingnan natin. Ito yung na-ease out, eh. Mega World, yung Red Engulfing Candles. Ito pa rin ng DMC. Properties pareho yan, eh. So, there might be some things on properties that's happening. Sa properties is, yan, 2.21% ang baba niya. Pero Meg, nagkaroon ng red engulfing candlestick ngayon, eh. Yan. So, dito, umakyat, umaba, akyat, baba. Support nandito po. Yan, nasa 207. Resistance nandito, eh. 230. So, yan po siya. It's a buyback. Okay. So, it's just moving within this range, you know. Yung resistance of 230 support at 207. So, yan po si Meg. Si RLC naman. Bumaba din si RLC eh. Yan. Akyat siya dito. Pero nag-dive siya dito. Yan natin kung merong... I think RLC has a fundamental. Robinson's land buy rating. Target price is 26 pesos. Nasa 60% ang upside niya. At 626 po yan eh. So ngayon, mga aring upside niya is mga 70. But that will have to change, you know. Because this will have to be revised when the fourth quarter and year-end results of operation comes in. So, yan po pinaka-support, 14.85. And the resistance is here at 16.68. Tapos naman si Mer. Mer, sana tumaas si Mer. He, bumaba rin si Mer. So, something is going on here. Huh? So, bumaba si Mer. Uh, ito eh. Customers, Morocco says customers to benefit from CA rule. Ito yung TRO na hindi pinaboran si San Miguel, no? So, support nandito. Support level na sa 281.63. Support level na po ito. Well, the resistance nandito. Pero bearish to, to sideways po ang kanyang movement. Yan. Pero 282 is a cheap price, no? Meralco, meron po siyang buy rating with a target price of 445 or a 52% upside. Then finally, we have San Miguel. SMC. Si, yan, si San Miguel naman ang tumaas. Okay, what would account for it? Kasi ngayon tumaas siya eh. So baka may good news ito. At bumaba si Mer. Si Mer dapat ang ang magandang news eh. So, let's try to draw a parallel channel here. Yan kasi yung movement niya eh. So, yan. Yan po yung parallel channel ni San Miguel. Between October 
15 and February or December 13. No? Yan po. So, ang pinaka support niya nasa 9184, sabantala ang resistance nasa 9749, nasa 9860 na po. Actually, it's still resistance level but it appears to break that resistance level. Okay, so medyo strange yung movement ng market ngayon when MER should have good news and San Miguel the bad news pero the opposite happened. Ano? Okay, yan po ang ating report sa stock market ika 30 ng Enero. Ito po si Benji Chidoro nagpapaalala. An investment in knowledge pays the best interest. Maraming salamat sa inyong pagsabaybay. Hanggang sa muli, stay safe, God bless, and bye for now.